Hey y'all, uh, it's November the 30th, 2015, and I want to talk to y'all today about something that's actually long overdue. It, it's long overdue. Um, I've had many conversations with people about Bill Cosby and the situation that he's in right now. Now, uh, I want to, to let you know that out of most of the conversations that I've had with people uh, about Bill Cosby and his situation, uh, most of what I hear is that he's guilty as balls, that he is quite guilty, that he's very, very undeniably guilty. Now, usually, and I got to say it in pretty much every time, uh, that I've gotten this response from people who I'm talking to. Uh, these people watch television, and I'm talking about for hours a day, every day. All right, so that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, before I go any further, I would like to say this. Uh, if you've ever talked to me at length, if you know me at all, one thing that you're going to know is that I hate rape. I don't like rape. I don't like rape in any sort of situation. I think rape is very bad, right? And you're not going to find an advocate um, who who hates rape more than me. You might find someone who hates rape as ju just as much as me, but not more than me. You're not going to find it, all right? I'm out there. Uh, I do not like rape. And uh, let me also just say that uh, prison for males is where you're going to find the most rape in the world here, especially in the United States of America. And so I don't like that. And I speak out against rape all the time. Um, I also would like to say that I personally have never been raped uh, unless I've been drugged or blacked out somehow. I've never been raped. I put that on everything. Uh, but I still hate it. Uh, I do have a daughter. And, and I've I've hated rape before my daughter came to this world, uh, but since my daughter has come to this world, I hate rape even more. All right, I just want to put that out there. Uh, so uh, now, as far as Bill Cosby is concerned, I don't think he, he he's uh, guilty really. I just don't. The evidence hasn't proven it, and because the evidence hasn't proven it, that's why he's not sitting in a jail cell today. All right, let's think about that. Notice how he's being attacked in a civil matter and not in a criminal manner. All right, and that being said, if he's uh, proven to be guilty through evidence, uh, at the very least, I want to see him in prison. I just want to put it to you like that. All right. All right. But, but let's go with this, because I know a lot of people, uh, what their argument it will be is that, oh man, you don't think he he did it because you don't want to think he did it, all right? And that's the only reason. I mean, I've seen 30 or 40 testimonials from different ladies, and so how is that even possible unless he did it? Now, I also want to remind you that um, Bill Clinton has just as many alleged rape victims as Bill Cosby. So if you want to lock away uh, Bill Cosby, throw away the key, you're going to do the same thing with the Bill Clinton. And by the way, you're going to do the same thing with the Hillary Clinton because obviously she knows about it. All right. So let's forget all that. Let's say hypothetically, Bill Cosby is guilty as balls. I'm willing to... to ponder that what let's say he's guilty as balls all right let's say he's guilty as sin well if that is the case i want to point out this because if that is the case at the very at the very least i want to see him in prison and actually to be quite honest with you uh, when it comes to rapists i don't think there's any rehabilitation of them they either find jesus or they don't find jesus and if they don't find jesus Guess what? Honestly, I, I don't see any purpose for them on the earth at all. So let me put it to you like that. But let's say, hypothetically, that Bill Cosby is guilty of doing all these things that he's alleged to doing. If that is the case, all right, uh, the women, the, the many, many women who have been raped, 
by Bill Cosby and spent decades just sitting on this information and doing nothing about it. They need to go to prison too. They absolutely need to go to prison because here's the thing, if you got raped by a man and you know that this rapist cannot be rehabilitated, this, this rapist is only going to continue to rape more and more and more and more, um, then you're putting people at risk. You're putting my daughter at risk. You're putting my wife at risk. You're putting every woman who I know at risk because you're allowing this rapist to run around willy-nilly. All right, you should uh, you should volunteer to put your life on the line at that point to stop this man. And now we live in America, which is not a rape culture. I repeat, it's not a rape culture. So uh, you should put your life on the line to make sure that justice is doled out on this Bill Cosby for doing what he's done because he's only going to do it more. All right, as evidence about. Uh, considering all the people who, who have come forward at this point, all right? So you are guilty for not standing in the way, for not trying to be a roadblock in this man's rape fest, all right? Now, uh, when I bring this up to people, uh, you know, it scrambles their brains usually. They, they usually can't absorb what I'm saying. They don't want to think of a rape victim as being guilty in any sense, right? But they are guilty. And they need to see at least some prison time, right? And so usually what their defense will be when I'm talking to these folks is that, oh man, you know, Bill Cosby, he probably, he probably hushed them up. He probably put a little muscle on them. They probably were uh, deathly afraid of coming against this guy who had raped them. And that's the reason why they couldn't speak out. I want to remind you that uh, if we're thinking about this reasonably and logically, um, Bill Cosby, as famous as he is, as much money as he's running around getting, he does not have the time to hush uh, like 30 some odd women all at the same time. He just does not have the power to do it. All right. There's no way that he could do it. The only way that he could do it is. Uh, through a system that many celebrities use to get out of trouble is the fact the fact that they have people who have put them in this position of power. They have people over them who are looking after them, who when they get into trouble, these people swoop in and they kind of erase that trouble and allow this personality to keep getting money because when this personality keeps getting money, guess what? These other people keep getting money. Do you follow me? So the people, uh, the corporate um, beings who uh, would have to see to it that there's muscle put on these ladies, that they, they have the fear of, of God up in these ladies, that uh, those people who have allowed Bill Cosby to run around and be raping all sorts of folks, those people also need to go to prison. And the thing is, you'll never hear those people ever being brought up on your television or your radios or in your newspapers. They'll never be brought up, even though it's impossible for Bill Cosby to put that kind of muscle on 30-some-odd ladies. All right? So what I'm trying to say is Bill Cosby, if indeed he is guilty, then many of these women... Most of these women, perhaps all of these women who he's raped, um, they're also guilty to some extent. And not only that, there are people above Bill Cosby who are uh, paving the way and sheltering Bill Cosby who also need to be arrested. And those people, they'll never be mentioned. So that's something to think about. Something to think about. This is November the 30th. 2015 and actually you know i also got to put in there it's quite convenient that bill cosby is being torn down civilly not criminally uh civilly right after he he, he told black people to stop acting the fool all right this is november the 30th 2015